Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials. My name is Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the work breakdown structure. A work breakdown structure, or what we call a WBS, is a tool used to define a project into discrete work elements and is displayed in a hierarchical format. The WBS displays and defines the product to be developed and produced. It relates the elements of work to be accomplished to each other and to the final product. In other words, the WBS is an organized method to break down a product into subproducts at lower levels of detail. The WBS is used for planning, cost estimating, execution and control. Per the definition, a work breakdown structure is a hierarchical decomposition of work tasks that need to be performed by project team members to accomplish project goals and objectives and create the required deliverable. The purpose of the WBS is to break down projects into manageable pieces, which allow for better planning, cost estimating, execution and control. Here is an example of the work breakdown structure from a rocket program. This WBS shows the first three levels of the rocket project. The government or customer program manager, with the support of systems engineering, usually develops the first three levels of the program WBS. They then provide it to the contractors who further define the WBS into more discrete elements. A completed WBS can have 10 or more levels. The first three work breakdown structure levels are organized as Level 1, Overall System Level 2, Major Elements Level 3, Subordinate Components The process of developing a WBS is straightforward but requires preparation and a clear understanding of what is required to be accomplished on a project. There are six steps associated with the development of a WBS. Step 1. Gather main documentation. You need to understand the project goals and objectives. To do this gather the project charter, scope, objectives, and any requirements. Step 2. Identify your main team members. A WBS cannot be built in a vacuum. It takes a team of specialized people to know how to break their sections down into discrete elements. Step 3. Define WBS Level 1. This level is a summary of the deliverable that must be met to satisfy the project scope. Step 4. Create the WBS Levels. This is the step where you break down the WBS components into discrete events. This is the most time-consuming and important step in the process. You need to break down the work until each element can be accomplished by a single individual or organization. Step 5. Create the WBS Dictionary. The dictionary describes each work element in the WBS. Step 6. Create the Integrated Master Schedule, IMS, and Integrated Master Plan, IMP. There are three main components of a WBS that help with defining the program. These are Control Accounts. A control account is a management control point at which budgets, resource plans, and actual costs are accumulated and compared to earned value for management control purposes. Any WBS elements at which the project plans to monitor and report performance. Planning packages, these are steps that have been created, but are not fully defined yet into work packages. And the last on is work packages. Work package is simply a task slash activity or grouping of work and is the point at which work is planned, progress is measured, and earned value is computed. It can be translated into different terms in different companies and functions. It can be a design job, a tool design package, a build to package, a shop order, a part number, a purchase order, or any other definable task slash activity at whatever level of control is normal for program management within the company. A work package normally represent the lowest level of a WBS. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on the work breakdown structure. Please review the webpage for more information. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and thank you for visiting ActNotes.